Where have you been, son? God. God, is that you? Where have you been, son? I've taken a break from the word and gotten to the world a little. Backslidden, the saints would say. I paint today a new day just so the sorrow won't be remembered tomorrow. I borrowed time from the world because I got that feeling. And like Marvin Gaye would say, I needed sexual healing. But perpetually feeling like I knew better, I couldn't figure out what better I knew. And I figured you were pretty pissed so I didn't bother to come to you. You are still a little boy. Ex excuse me, God? No offense against your royalty, but show me a little loyalty and keep it real. You know good and well I'm not a boy. I just might have took a detour or ran into a decoy, but my core is still right though. And plus you look at a person's heart, and you know it was hard for me to refuse that temptation in that given situation. Why you contemplate in my manhood? I thought I'd stand good with you as long as I come back and repent. And plus the times I spent in the world doesn't compare to the times I spent thinking of you. So give me a break. Give you a break. I owe you nothing. But you, you were bought at a price and it's only right that you dedicate me your life. See, I want to open up doors for you so that through you, others will see me. I understand that you may be confused by some portraying themselves to be me, but they'll never see me if you're of the world. You see, the devil knows scriptures too. It's not enough to every now and then brush up on the scripture or two. Give you a break. Don't you know every breath you take is considered a break because my grace is saving you from going to that place. Now count the breaks you get in one day. You do the math. Every day I'm sparing you from my wrath even after you've taken baths and pool of sin. Again and again I consider you my son, my love, my friend. Even when you prefer to spend your time trying to blend in. We're not clearly made for you to stand out. When you get to my pearly gates, there won't be no handouts. So it's time for you to become a man now or stand down because clearly you can't see that you've been chosen. Instead, choosing when you're finding the word close to your heart. You see, temptation is a part of life and my grace is just a taste of the love I have for you after every time you give in. From night to morning, I watched over you while you were snoring. And even when it was storming, I made sure there was no harm in you. I'm warning you, not fussing. And you know warning comes before destruction. So while you're out here lusting, sinning, and grinning, think I am the end and the beginning. And quit pretending like you woke yourself up this morning. You know as the story is told. What good is a man to gain the world but lose his soul? Don't lose control and go ahead and show up. It's time to stop playing Christian and really grow up and throw up your old ways. See, when you were a boy, you thought like a boy. But now that you're a man, you must leave your childish ways behind you. And don't let the glare of sin blind you. You can have fun when it's time to. But for now, stop running from conviction and let it find you. But God, I don't think you understand how hard it is to have the upper hand being the underdog. God, being convicted by you is not what I'm afraid of. I'm more concerned with the rate of people that will come in and call me hypocrite. I've seen it all before and quite frankly I'm sick of it. Convicted with the addiction of making fleshful decisions has corrupted my vision and made me vulnerable. And God, to be one of the only ones living right is so uncomfortable. People will look at me with such scrutiny. It would be a lot different if it was just you and me. And if I began to live holy, then the people that really know me would just compare me to the old me. They wouldn't show me respect, God. I'll spread your word if someone asks me about it. That's okay. Right, God? Whining, lying, and complaining is all you seem to do. You find time to do everything you want, but nothing I ask of you. But you expect me to have grace every time you come my way? You seem to remember me every Sunday, but forget about me on days like today. What if I was to dismiss you? Then who would spare your life? What if I decided to take a break? Then what would you expect from your creator? What if I just decided to walk off and just decide to come back later? You don't realize the things I invest in you and all the talent I give you as a gift. So let's just reverse our roles and I'll let you take my second shift. No, don't ask any questions. I'm handing the power over to you. Now your life is in your hands. Your destiny belongs to you. God, wait. I apologize. Just listen. I apologize for fitting in when I know you made me different. I just thought that maybe this time, maybe this time... Time! Not even my own son knows the second or hour. I made you a king, though you were born a coward. Son, I listen to your every word. There is nothing you say I don't hear. I open up your eyes to see all things and wipe the mud away for you to see clear. My son, Jesus doesn't even know you want me to freeze time for you. 
I'm calling on you for your calling, but it's obvious you have other things to do. You're afraid of what people will say, but I'm the only one you should fear. Father, time works on my watching. Mother Earth will soon disappear. You may not understand, and this may come as a surprise, but I'll explain it to you because I'm sick of the lies. I'm the divine truth, and nothing shall come before me. How can I explain to you how to be faithful if when I speak, you just ignore me? I give you every inch of power you have to conquer all that you may fear. But consider my voice to be hours on the clock. The end of times are near. Okay, God, I'll change. I promise I'll change. But I might as well get used to people looking at me strange. Who cares? And what about my imperfections and everything of my past? I've perfected your imperfections and made beauty of your past. I made you first when you thought you were last. You see, my love is unconditional. It's something you've never felt. I've forgiven you of everything, even when you couldn't forgive yourself. God, what if I fall? You will. And then what? I'll pick you up. And even then, God, what if I fall? I'll pick you up. But God, what if I keep on falling? I'll keep picking you up. But God, but nothing. You will always fall short of my grace. That's not to debate. You shall face every day knowing that you have been saved by grace. Let the melodies from heaven rain down on you and take that Bible off the shelf. Stop depending on everyone else. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. It ain't over until I say it's over. So wipe those tears from your face. You have to continue to move swiftly and make every move in faith. I can continue to show you the right path and you can continue to talk to me. But your words mean nothing unless you're ready to walk with me. God, I surrender. Son, just walk.